We are dividing fractions. My learning target is I can multiply and divide positive rational numbers fluently. So I'm going to go through the steps of dividing fractions, and then I'm going to explain why these steps work. All right, so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to keep the first fraction the same. And then we are going to change the division problem to a multiplication problem. So 3 fourths, going to change it to multiplication. And then you are going to change the second fraction to its reciprocal. What that means is you're going to flip it. You are going to cross simplify if possible and then solve. So we cross simplify by using numbers greatest common factor. So two, uh, 4 and 2 have a greatest common factor of 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 3 and 1's greatest common factor is 1, so we cannot cross simplify that. So 3 times 1, because we do top times top, bottom times bottom, is 3 times 1 is 3, and then 2 times 1 is 2. So I have three halves, and then I'm going to convert that into a mixed number. So that is going to be two and one half. I'm sorry, not two and one half. One and one half. So why does this work? The opposite, or also known as inverse, of a division problem is multiplication. So therefore, you multiply by the opposite, also known as the reciprocal. So A divided by B equals A over B. If you have a fraction over a fraction... It is called a complex fraction. So that's like if you have like one third divided by two thirds. So in order to get the denominator equal to one, you will multiply by its reciprocal. And whatever you do the bottom, you must do to the top. So that would be doing one third times three over two. The reason you do that is two thirds times three over two equals one. Let me kind of erase this and show this better. So, at Another way to write division, let's say one third divided by two thirds, you want this denominator to be one. So in order for you to do that, you're going to multiply it by three halves, which equals six over six, which simplifies to one. And whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. So then I would multiply by three halves. So then I get one third times three halves over one, which essentially is just one third times three halves. And that's why this works. That's why we flip it and change it to a multiplication problem. All right. So we have two fifths times, or sorry, divided by 5 twelfths, so we keep, change, change, I don't see a greatest common factor, crossways, 
So I get 2 times 12, which is 24, and 5 times 5, which is 25. These do not have a greatest common factor, so I cannot simplify. So it is 24 25ths. All right, number two, we have two thirds times five fourths. We have a greatest common factor here that we can simplify. So two divided by two is one, four divided by two is two. There is not a greatest common factor between five and three. I mean, the greatest common factor would be one. So five divided by one is five and three divided by one is three. So we can't do anything with that. So five, one times five is five and three times two is six. My answer is five, six. All right, number three, we're going to keep, change, change. My greatest common factor between these is nine, so I can change, cross simplify this. Oops. And then my greatest common factor between these two is one, so I can't simplify anymore. 18 times two is six. Teen, and then one times seven is seven, and then I'm going to turn that into a mixed number. Two, two, two and two sevenths is my answer. All right, number four, keep, change, change. My greatest common factor between 11 and 22 is 11. My greatest common factor between 6 and 5 is 1, so I'm not going to do anything with those two. 6 times 2 is 12, and then 1 times 5 is 5. So we have 2 and 2 fifths. Sorry, I'm just looking at my color pattern here. All right, keep, change, change. My greatest common factor between these two looks like five. And then I do have a greatest common factor other than one right here, it's eight. Three times two is six. Seven times one is seven. My answer is six sevenths. All right, number six. Keep, change, change. My greatest common factor between these two is nine. The greatest common factor between these two is seven. So I have one-fifth as my answer. All right, the Jacobs family are eating leftovers for dinner. They have two-thirds of a pizza left, and they need to split it between three people. That's how I know I'm doing division, because I'm splitting it in between three people. How much pizza will each person get? So I'm doing two-thirds divided by three. A whole number written as a fraction is three over one. So I'm going to keep, change, change. I do not have greatest common factors other than one here, so I can't cross simplify. So this is two ninths. Jamie and Ben went to the movies. They ate popcorn before the movie and had three-fourths of the bag left to divide amongst their two kids. How much will each kid get? 
So we have 3 fourths divided by 2. Write that as a fraction. It's over 1. 3 fourths keep change change. No greatest common factor other than 1, so I cannot cross simplify. And then I have 3 eighths.